Hey guys, welcome back to another Four Guys in a Comic video. This is Rusty Surfer here, who you have not seen in a video yet. And I am joined by one of the other important four guys, uh, Red Skull. Hey guys, and, how's everyone doing? Yeah, and today we're going to be bringing back a fan favorite for all you old school Four Guys in a Comic fans who might remember something called pulling ads done by us yes. back in the day. So, you know... Like I said, this is not going to be the only time you're going to see this. You will be seeing future episodes of Pulling Ads on our YouTube page. So be sure to give us a uh, follow, a subscribe, and uh, be sure to, you know, ding the little bell thing too so you can get alerts and whatnot for whenever we post new stuff. All right. Well, for all you guys out there who do not know what Pulling Ads is, let me give you a brief rundown real fast, okay? So first off, this is nothing to do with digital comics. We're not just going to be talking about comics. We went back into our own personal collections here to pull out that good smelling old school paper copies of all the comics oh, you love. Got yeah, the at him. smell of comics in the morning. <laughs> yeah. The only thing is, is like I said, we're going back. We're pulling out real copies, yes. real copies of comics. Yes. Real. real. And we don't have the white gloves on. That is the <gasps> scary part. Yeah, right? Wipe your hands off that fast. <laughs> but, okay, so let me explain it to you guys. Me and Red Skull here have gone into our personal comic collection and pulled out two issues of comics to go through and find our favorite piece of advertisement in each mm -hmm. comic, okay? And uh, maybe we'll relive some nostalgia, we'll bring back some memories. If you, yourself, watching this, have ever bought any of this stuff, please comment, send us pictures, let us know about it, because, like I said, we're just looking at these advertisements. We don't know what the stuff looks like half the time, and internet searches for most of it are very hard. Yes, or just don't so, exist. Or don't exist, exactly. Yeah. Now, something to know, just a little bit about me and Red, before we get more into this, Red likes to collect a lot of full series and yes. stuff. So expect a lot of, you know, a lot of the same titles somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but there's some variety. He has but, a big but his different collection. It's huge. Yes. Yeah. If you've seen his image video, you need to go check it out and you can just see part of his collection. Or if you want to see my Nick Fury videos, I got plenty of Nick Fury. Arr. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just need the eye patch now. Now with myself, I collect key issues and first appearances for the most part um i do have some full run i have a lot of surfer a lot of captain marvel and a lot of uh venom yeah. and stuff so full Symbiont. runs of those symbiote yeah that's it yeah. symbiote in general yeah. but um so now that you got a little brief rundown of what our collections are today we're gonna get to it red what is your first issue you want to talk about today well let me get the cigar back out we're going to talk some Nick Fury, all right? Oh. oh, you wanted the eye patch? I got the eye patch. Here you go. Here's the eye patch. There you go. <laughs> Does that bring it all together a little bit? Yeah, it brings a lot together. <laughs> but yeah, Sergeant Fury and the Sailing Commandos. This is going to be issue number 18, as you can see by the pick right over here. Um, this came out in uh, 1965. Ooh, yes. your comic is older than both of my comics. Oh, and, uh, still smells wonderful. Um, that smell. Yes. Art by Dick Ayers. And of course, written by a little unknown guy. As you, I don't know if you've heard of him or not. I'm going to throw that name out there. Stan Lee. Eh, is he related to that Jim Lee guy? I don't know. Over. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, yeah. Some I'll do dude. my little research in there, you know. But it, uh, yeah. whoever this Stan Lee guy is, he I'll tell you, he writes wonderful. You know? Oh, okay. That's yes. good to hear. But we're not here to talk about the writing or the art. We're here to talk about them wonderful advertisements in between all those panels. Yeah. And so the first thing i got to bring up is U.S. Government Surplus. How fitting for a Nick Fury exactly. comic. Exactly. Come on, uh. you know. So as you're reading along, oh my gosh, you know, Nick is doing this in Germany during World War II. Oh, I need surplus. I want to be just like Nick. So as you can see from this picture over here, got to cover some of this wonderful, great stuff you can get. For a dollar, one dollar, you can get a booklet with thousands of items that you can purchase wholesale from the government. Okay. All right. Seems solid so it's far. Not so far, but what can you get? What would that dollar catalog get for you? Well, let's take a peek. Number one on the list, a Jeep. Um, wait, a Jeep? You a can Jeep. order a car through a comic. An army All right, Jeep. All right, again. Hey. A comic pamphlet, whatever. Yeah, $278. 
What? Yes. Can you believe that? Uh, 278 Wait, bucks? what year was this? 1965? Okay. So let's think about this. A brand new car, like a Mustang, Fastback or something. It's like 3500 3000-ish, mm, yeah. yeah. something like that. Yeah. And you said 250 $278. 78 Why 70 That's so random know, of a I number. <laughs> See, I want to know, does that include shipping and handling? <laughs> <laughs> how that's true how do you ship the whole that probably all in itself is another issue right yeah, there exactly <laughs> you know what the jeep may come with shrapnel damage right it may you know who maybe knows? who knows but if you don't want the jeep there's a few other items you can get you can get okay a boat how much is the boat 178 bucks it's cheaper than the jeep but you might want to get both you need the jeep to haul the boat that's yeah. yeah yeah how wait is it like a, a motor boat or like a pontoon it or is it like st- it doesn't say you're gonna have to get the catalog to find out it's gonna be a little like rowboat yeah a little dinky <laughs> yeah, really <laughs> inflatable one <laughs> <laughs> a raft yeah um you can get bicycles for five dollars and fifty cents that's a cheap bicycle it is that is a good may bike. have been ridden by a dead guy yep who knows yeah a telescope for four bucks okay cool leather boots 65 cents also may have been worn by a dead guy (laughs) (laughs) they still have a little uh formaldehyde funk in it who knows yeah (laughs) Uh, i like this a typewriter for eight dollars and 79 cents 8.79 so the typewriter is more than the bike yes it is okay but who knows what government secrets have been typed on that typewriter secret uh pentagon papers that's right you know yeah um let's see what else you can get here you can get an electric motor for a dollar 85 electric motor like a generator yeah like a generator yeah that's cool yeah. oh so no that's electric mo i'm sorry electric motor for 185 the, they do have a generator here listed for okay. two dollars and 68 cents i feel like you could like you could set up a pretty sweet like yeah. gig at your house with this stuff yeah, so far is. you know go in the yeah, forest or whatever with you and your friends pull your money together and man you can have the coolest army area yeah but how are you going to get your friends there? Well, I got the answer. You can get a passenger bus for 208 bucks. <laughs> the bus is cheaper than the Jeep. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, wow. But you know what's even cheaper than the bus? What? You can get an airplane. An airplane for $1.59. A hundred, I'm sorry, $159. $159. dollars for an airplane. airplane. It doesn't say what kind of airplane or whatever, but if you can get a Jeep. An airplane. An airplane. Dude, can you imagine getting an airplane? Hey, Mom, I just sent away for something in the mail for my comic. Okay, dear, that's lovely. You know, eight eight to ten weeks later. Uh, excuse, honey, what is this damn airplane doing here? I was about to say, what would your wife say if you brought home an airplane, Red? Oh, I. where are you going to put that thing? All right. It's for the kids, honey. Yeah, it's, it's, for, it's for the, you know, it's educational. They might want to be pilots one day. Maybe. Put a swing, like, on the wing and just let them go... But airplanes aren't safe is the first thing your wife would say. Uh, but, no. but, I mean, you have an airplane. Yeah, but I have the answer for that, too. What? In the catalog, you can get a parachute for $21.95. <laughs> you got to get the parachute if you have the airplane. <laughs> Not only for safety, but for fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But all sorts of great other items. Machetes, goggles, pistol helmets, steel helmets, giant balloons. Giant balloons. Like yeah. You're going to fly away in a balloon. I don't know. What, Some not, recon right there. Yeah, I, I picture those weather balloons. I don't know. Yeah. So all sorts of great things in there. Mail away now today. One dollar. Get the catalog. Man, I want that airplane. I want the airplane. You're telling me that sounds like a super sweet deal to get an airplane. It does. First off, get the parachute. Bring a friend. Get Teach him how to fly the plane. And then you can go skydiving all day long, exactly. basically. You know? And all that for the cheap, low cost of... Like less than 200 bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. Something like that. That's crazy. 200 bucks and I can go skydiving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Or kill myself, one or the other. Who knows? (laughs) (laughs) Your mother can write out your obituary on her new typewriter that you got her. Exactly, right? (laughs) These gifts. The gifts that keep on giving. That's right. So that's what I got um, in my issue. What have you got for us today? Okay, so my first issue is actually from January of 1970, okay? Um, And it is Silver Surfer number 12 from Volume 1. And it's one of those 15-cent issues, so good stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, we'll get back to something a little bit early. Not the 1965. Was that 10 cent issue, probably? Oh, uh, let's see. It was 12 cents. 12 cents. Okay, okay. Well, anyways, Silver Surfer number 12, and it's by that weird guy you were talking about. Um, uh, Lee Stan. Lee, yeah, Lee Stan. The guy might be related like to uh, Jim Lee, right? Yeah. Jay Lee. Jay Lee. One of them. <laughs> One of them. Someone. I don't know. Bruce? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Lee, he's dying hard, man. Oh, but no, Stan Lee and then John Buscema. I mean, some other guy. Just yeah, man. a great team up actually. You gotta love that yeah. team up. No, oh, that's actually really cool. And um, like I said, Silver Surfer number twelve, January nineteen seventy. And flipping through this today, um, I just so happened to come across one of those spread pages of all the little gimmicks and stuff that you can buy. You know, the old school ads of send away, mail away for. And the first one that came through that popped up to me, which you can see, is pets, pets, <laughs> pen raised baby raccoons, monkeys, skunks, wolves, and other kinds and types of pets. But not only that, you can get hawks, falcons, owls for hunting, and you can get reptiles. But it doesn't specify what kind of reptiles. Ooh. So you not only the, the animal variety, spot on. We got a lot of variety. But the thing is, you can also get books, traps, cages, and etc. So you can learn how to capture your own pets. Or to not... capture the food to feed your pets. That too. So I'm thinking, that... I'm thinking a couple things here. Okay. One Reptile, especially if you got a sister. <laughs> you gotta put it in the bed. Like, yeah, Ooh. exactly. Okay, and I gotta have a trap to catch some mice to feed my reptile. Or, cra crazy idea. Why not get yourself, oh, that monkey. Who wouldn't want a monkey? What kid doesn't want a monkey? No, that was one of the coolest things. That's the thing, though. There's some weird variety, too. Like, I got a raccoon, a monkey, and a wolf. And it's like, what? And where's this, out, where's this out of again? Where they ship okay. it from? Grove, Oklahoma. So Oklahoma. if any of you old school Grove, Oklahoma people remember Grove Pet Ranch, let us know in the comments or if it's still around. I'm curious. But they had a weird like topsy-turvy kind of farm going on. I mean, a lot of weird pets. I mean, Oklahoma is not exactly the first place I would think of when it comes to getting a monkey. Uh, you know, I want a monkey today. I, I'm going to go to Oklahoma. In 1970, yeah. you can get a monkey in Oklahoma. Yeah. It also makes me wonder like – I'm like they put this in a full blown advertisement. What if there was a hundred kids asking for monkeys? Where are they gonna get a hundred monkeys from in Oklahoma? <laughs> exactly. But you know where uh. those monkeys are going? Those are going to the kids that are buying the air plate and the parachute. You know, come on, yes. wouldn't that be cool? Oh, skydiving with my yes. monkey. Yes, I'm gonna go skydiving with my monkey. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Dress him up in a little Hydra suit. Yeah, there you go. You can get in the Red Skull outfit and just hop off. And you can be like, <laughs> with it strapped to your chest, my Hydra monkey. Call him, call him Hydra Mike. Hydra Mike. That's very appropriate for yes, four guys. It is. Hydra Mike. Hydra Mike. Yeah. <laughs> so that was one of the cool things on this page. Um, some other things that I saw on here. You can get an electric guitar for 13 bucks. That's pretty cheap. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bill and Ted comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, you also got, you know, play guitar in seven days, so you can learn how to play that guitar you buy. But I bet you they're only teaching you how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, something like that. Yeah. And also, you know, you got in here the 1,000 and things you can get free. Complete list only for 50 cents. You know what's funny is I remember seeing one of these ads before, and it didn't used to be 50 cents. It used to be they send you the thing for free. And then I guess they realize I'm not making any money off of this. And so they raised it to 50 cent. But you get a thousand and one things free. And it's a booklet just on – it gives you lists of things you can mail away for to test products for people basically. Mm, okay. Or, um, you know, just like – it's like extreme couponing almost but given yeah. to you in a book. And, uh, yeah, you got that. You can even get a Fox mini bike. For one hundred dollars, but I don't know if I want the mini bike. If I can get the airplane for just like a little bit more, exactly. Yeah, uh, I mean I'll, mini I'll, bike, I'll, yeah, airplane. airplane. Come on, uh, airplane. Yeah. <laughs> airplane totally wins. Um, also, you know, you got all the weird hypno coin, like hypnotizing thing. Buy old comics, mm -hmm. make your own motorized go kart or speed bike, which sounds pretty fun. Yeah. Or I know. Okay, I know for a fact that you used to be really into surfing. Yes. As you know, I'm really into surfing yes. too. Double entendre on my uh, my name, I guess. Yeah, I, yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, one of the things in here is a surfing helmet. Ooh. Yeah, for you big wave surfers out there. Exactly. What's funny is it looks like, as you can see, it looks like one of those like old biker helmets, kind of. But you can get it in black, chrome, blue metal flake, or there's one that says Maltese Surfer Cross, which I'm guessing is just like an add-on. You can put a cross on your yeah. helmet or something. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. The blue metal flake one sounds kind of cool. I would want the silver one. Okay. You mean the, the chrome? chrome one? The chrome one. You know, I could be Chrome be Dome. People. Chrome Dome, put that on. I'd be like Silver Surfer. <laughs> there you go. But I mean, my thing is the sun hits it, and then you're going to be blinding everyone around you from the sun's <laughs> rays reflecting That's fine. Off. It gives me more waves. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's like it shows you to drop in on my wave. <laughs> exactly, no cutting people off when Come I'm on, surfing. Come on, dude, that's mine. All yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> and to go with it, like, <laughs> but to go with it, you can have a He-Man voice. I don't know how this works, but it, apparently, it's a send today for free booklet. Voice power and personal power by Eugene Fuchtinger. Fuchtinger. Booch Tinger. I think that's, that's not it. made up at all. <laughs> right? Just send your name, address, and age. Why do you need your age? Mailed in plain sealed envelope. No obligation right today. See, they, need the, they need the age so they can give you the, white, the, the right quantity of uh, 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 steroid supplements to take so you can get the He-Man voice. <laughs> How much testosterone to deepen your voice today? You'd be like, hey, mom. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Exactly. But I don't know. I don't know how you make money. I, half these things in here, it's like send away for free. And it's like, how do you make money off this? You're sending everything for free. Yep. Eh, comic advertisements. I don't necessarily understand it super well. I'll be honest with you. You know, I love and I miss those old advertisements. I kind of wish you had those today with the, those, you know, all those little panels that have been bought. And you can say, oh, yeah, you can mail away for this and that. They're fun to read. You bet. You know what? That's the thing. Like, who doesn't get to... They don't do this anymore. You don't yeah. get to take out advertisements like this. I'm guessing that advertisements are way, way, way too expensive now. Yep. So, yeah, we'll see, I guess. Anyways, what is your uh, second issue for us right All now? Right. What's your... Well, we've talked about some Sergeant Fury. It's time uh, for Marvel. Let's go to the DC side of the house. Who's Fury's uh, counterpart? Well, that'd be Sergeant Rock. So, our hey, army hey, of war... Hey, hey. Yeah. That sounds well, – that's um, before the uh, name change too, right? That is correct. It is before the name change. Um, so we have uh, Easy Company, Sergeant Rock, Our Army at War, issue number 134, brought to us from 1963. 1963? Yes, 1963. Okay. You are getting really old. See, I thought that I was going to have you beat today, <laughs> but you went 1965 and 1963 on me. Yeah. Ugh, you got me on that, Sorry, man. man. Yeah, I it's just. Okay. But you know what? When you see this ad, you're going to appreciate it because this is another really great ad. It may not be Army Surplus, but. Okay, the art in that is really oh, it cool. Is. It is. Yeah, look at that picture on the side. You got to enjoy this art. For a dollar ninety-eight, you can get a hundred and ninety-six pieces of space themed stuff. I'll read you the list of what you're going to get All right, and make see. a judgment of yourself. You'll receive right. 32 rocket launcher pads. Rocket launcher pads. Yes. 20 okay. XL Dart spaceships. 40 spacemen. Two rotating space stations. Four rocket boosters. 20 X7 Dart spaceships. 40 cosmic radar antennas. Four engineer and military quarters. Uh, all this and a giant 312 square inch target area of our entire solar system in bright color. Plus, you get nine planets, um, including Mercury, Venus, Mars, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and 32 flags. That's a lot of stuff. For how much money? A dollar ninety-eight. Wait, this isn't for a booklet. This is like you get all you of get it. Get all of this. 196 pieces. That is so much. And you said a rotating space yeah ro yeah rotating space station of uh, two of them that is so cool you don't get that kind of no. stuff anymore you go to the store now and you get like a little like what 10 12 inch figure for like 20 bucks yeah something like that you're not gonna get that this kind of deal but what's really cool is the um advertisement they have down below it let me read this out in case you can't see it on the screen 
You can command your own uh, space fleet complete with 40 multiple stage rocket ships. And each with its own removable astronaut. These gleaming giant missiles are almost a foot tall. Almost a foot tall. Yes. So six inch rockets. Okay. Um, blast off, yet were designed to be played within your favorite room. Okay. Launch a rocket in your room. Okay. Doesn't sound too safe. Sounds like a broken uh, window to me. Well, on top of that, um, watch it hurtle through space, actually flying over 18 miles per hour and land on its own gravi power on a planet target across the room. 18 miles per hour, I'm launching this thing in my house, right? Yeah. 18 miles. Boom. And you, you would totally let your kids things. do this, right? What's that? You would totally let your kids do this, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Sure. In the house, no. Uh, <laughs> but for $1.98, man, I would pick this up. I would take it to the park. I would have a blast with this. I mean, come on. 40 rockets at 18 miles an hour. I wonder if you can. You can't reuse the rockets, I bet. I don't think so because it also did mention it came with four rocket boosters. So I'm thinking that you probably can play with the 40 of them, and then you get 40 extra cartridges to change out, would be my guess. <laughs> They're all bottle rockets. That's what yeah. technically they <laughs> should whiz them into the sky. <laughs> but, but it's going to be played with any room in the house. Yeah, right? <laughs> I mean, sure, there's no no explosions or broken no, windows. No, or nothing tangles. at all. Nothing don't, at all. don't worry about your, your belongings that are in your house. But Put it next to the china cabinet. Yeah, that's where you should go. That's, yeah, the yeah, that's one the right best next location. To the yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't have the dollar ninety eight to get the hundred ninety six pieces, they do offer you a deal to get a hundred and sixty two piece set for a dollar fifty. But it doesn't so say. Much I know. I know. Um, unless you live in Canada, it's going to cost you two dollars and thirty five cents. <laughs> okay. So, sorry, Nova. Sorry, Nova. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 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 something that I am curious about, I wonder what this actually looks, because I'm like, they're plastic, right? Yeah. You said they're unbreakable plastic? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, unbreakable plastic, and it's just, who knows? I'll see how, if I was five, we'll test the unbreakable theory. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, take a look at the picture on the side, there's me holding it up, and you can see it separates all sorts of interesting things. I, I want it! I would probably want it to. I mean, if I was that age, that sounds cool. I'm curious if they're like the size of army men or what. And I'm yeah. sure that a Google search isn't going to help us find this thing. No, no. But no. I'm, think, I'm thinking, you know, if these rockets are almost a foot tall, so six inches, the people mm -hmm. itself are probably around an inch tall would be my guess. Yeah. Look like little uh, army men. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. It is. I, I, it is. I had, when I was little, I totally had like the little, uh, I had all the army men and stuff, you know, whatever. And then I also had like a little fort where it was like Indians versus like uh, cowboys or something like that. Cowboys, something yeah. like that. But that. That was cool. That was all applied, but it was all little. And that was a pretty big setup. But it probably wasn't, I don't remember what it cost, but it probably wasn't no $1.50 or whatever. No, no, no. 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 So that sounds like a steal. It does. It does. So what else have you got for us today? Okay, so my second comic is actually from May of 1968. See, this is where I thought I was going to get you. 68, <laughs> you went 65. You beat me by it. You, well, you went all the way to 63. You went way back. Anyways, um, the comic that I have is done by Roy Thomas and Gene Colan. So I know you love Roy Thomas. And it is Captain Marvel number one, oh. the very first. Oh. Not the the premiere, but it's first series, you know, Rusty, iconic cover. Beautiful. Mwah, gotta love oh. that. Yep, and it smells great. 12 cent issue, man. Wait, hold so, on, can I smell it? Can I get, can I get here, it? Here, here, get a, get a whiff real fast. Ah, oh, just, mm. oh, yes. Delicious. Now, my first thing mm. about this, when I saw this ad or whatever, was I was super confused, okay, that these two issues in this ad came out after this comic mm -hmm. because it's already 1968 two characters have been around for forever yes. okay like forever but it says you know big premiere issue mm -hmm. and i'm sure that gives it away for a lot of people but the premiere of iron man number one and the submariner number one yes yeah and it's on sale now mm -hmm. and what makes me confused is i know that they've both been in a bajillion comic books before this but why did captain marvell basically 
it took them the same amount of time that Captain Marvel was around, around like short, short period of time. Mm-hmm. He got his own series, I guess, before Iron Man or at the yeah. same time as Iron Man. Yeah. And it's like, Marvel, Tony Stark, which one's more important? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, but you have to kind of think of the history of it just a little bit because you had uh, Tales of Suspense um, uh-huh. featuring Iron Man and Captain America. They shared a, the the issue together for a long period of time. With So when they finally wrapped it up with issue number 99 of Tales of Suspense, that was the last issue. from, And then it jumped. No, it was issue 100. I'm sorry, issue 100. And then they decided that each Captain America and... Iron Man will get their own issues. Iron Man got that number one. Yeah. Yeah. Number one big premiere issue like you saw in the picture. But instead of Captain Marvel getting a number one, they continued it with Captain Marvel number 101. You mean Captain America. Or Captain America. Captain America yeah. 101. Captain America. Yeah. So yeah. he didn't get it. He didn't start off with an issue number one. He started off with 101 to follow behind Tells of Suspense. So You got that iconic cap cover right yes. there, man, that everyone's... Uh, yeah, which is going up in value too. It is super surprising. It is. Yeah. So just like this Iron Man thing, yeah. this Iron Man number one. Mm-hmm. I know I'm in a lot of collector rooms mm-hmm. and stuff, and they're all buying it up now, and it just keeps going up in price. Mm-hmm. And I haven't figured out the real reason why. I mean, it's not like the Iron Man movie or anything, you know, yeah. uh, when you thought it would have went up. But no, people are buying this issue up. And what's funny is like not even like two, three years ago, I remember being in a Facebook auction room, and I saw a copy of it go for like five to ten dollars, which was a steal even for then. Yeah. But now I'm just like, dang, I should have bought that dang comic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because right now you can pick up one that is not graded roughly around a seven, seven, five, maybe an eight for like 200 bucks. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's rough. That's yeah. really rough. I don't know why it went up in value just suddenly. Mm-hmm. Same thing with uh, Submariner, though. No, Submariner doesn't get any attention he in Marvel doesn't. like at all anymore. No. He, he's like He's featured in a lot of the stories and stuff. Yeah. But shoot, they don't they don't care about him. He pops up for like two pages and then disappears again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you know, Marvel just did that to have their equivalent to DC's Aquaman. In yeah, my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's weird. It's just I don't know. It's weird to me that it took so long for him to get his own book. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, it is make, weird. But hey, makes. But you know, pretty cool though that in that advertisement, pick this up today, only twelve cents. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Ridiculous. Now, what is your honorable mention. Well, I'm going to dig back into uh, Sergeant Fury and Selling Commandos. And okay. I found this nice little advertisement in here for Sea Monkeys. But you can take a look at the picture on the side here. Sea Monkeys? Yes! Hatch and grow live sea monkeys. Raise these remarkable pets in this new circus, sea circus aquarium for only $1. $1? $1. I buy that for a dollar. <laughs> you didn't have these when you were growing up, did no, you? Did you? I did you, not. I did not. No. But if I saw this ad, I'd be tempted because not only do you get the sea monkeys for a dollar, you get a 14-piece set. So you get this nice little circus stage to put around your aquarium. And okay. it comes with an audience and seats and a whole podium and ushers and everything to okay. to make it a little sh- circus sea show. That's cool. Yeah. You know, growing up, I, um, I think it was like 94... I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I lived with my grandparents, my mom, and then my aunt lived with us too. And she was young. She was a lot younger. She was still like in her early 20s, I think. And um, one day she brought home sea monkeys, like for me, I guess, Mm -hmm. right? Just to check out or whatever. And I didn't understand it at the time because I was like, I knew what a monkey was. I was like three, three or four. And I knew what a monkey was. Because of cartoons and stuff and, you know, just like zoo books, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I sat there and I was like, sea monkey. Sea-. And it didn't click in my head. I was like, what, is this like a snork or something? Like, <laughs> snork. I, I was like, I couldn't, I didn't think, I was like, how is a monkey? A, like, there, uh, there's some ocean monkeys or something? Yeah. And it didn't click in my head. And then she like put them in the water. And that's when I realized they were just like little organisms. I mean, later on I learned they were like little shrimp or whatever, that you feed to your fish. Sorry to burst everyone's bubble on the sea monkeys. But I was just, like, super disappointed. I was sitting there, and I was like, I'm going to have, like, little monkeys running around Mm -hmm. and everything. And I thought they would get a lot bigger. And really, you couldn't really tell what they were unless you had, like, a little microscope or a magnifying glass or something. And, uh, yeah, 
Super disappointed on the sea monkeys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess if you really wanted a monkey, don't go with the sea monkey route. Go with the other advertisement route. Go out to, what, what would he say it was? Again? Grove, Oklahoma. Grove, Oklahoma. Yeah, get yourself a real monkey. <laughs> Grove Pet Ranch. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, man. So what, what honorable mention do you have for us today? Okay, so it's actually in the Captain Marvel number one. And it's a shot by mail thing again. And I just kind of have really doubts on this. But um, it's an advertisement in a big like, bubble. It shows like a kid. And then it says, I'm 11 years old. And I sell $75 to $100 a week. And I'm just like 1968, 11-year-old. $75 to 100 a week is a lot of money for 1968. That is a lot of money. You figure 68, you can buy a new car for 2000 bucks. I mean. Yeah. Or you can get an airplane. Yeah, or an airplane for 200 Yeah. You can get an airplane in two weeks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So if you're wondering how to buy that airplane, here you go. Yeah. But Shipping anyways. Yeah. <laughs> But just guess how he makes the 75 to 100. Like. Okay, let me guess. He is going around um, selling comic book subscriptions? I don't know. No, but kind of eh, close-ish, ish, ish. Um, you get a free trial booklet thing, and it comes with just a bunch of stuff in it like uh, food and cosmetics and houseware and clothes and Basically, your own department store in a little <laughs> pamphlet book. You don't got to go down to the Sears or whatever down the street. Yeah. I got you covered, my 11-year-old self. <laughs> you open the jacket. What you need? I got Twinkies. Got I got Ding Dongs. I got watches. And over here, you need some yarn. <laughs> Portable radio. <laughs> exactly. So I have a hard time believing, though, that an 11-year-old sells 75 to 100 a week. And this, this is the part that seems to come up a little bit fishy what's that okay because there is a testimonial from the kid which is named carl okay <laughs> from ohio i guess okay. i guess he's from ohio. carl from ohio says i am very proud to have the opportunity to sell blair products in two and a half months i have worked in the two and a half months i have worked i my i have bought my clothes and saved over two hundred dollars I now have my business built up and sell 75 to 100 a week. So hmm. it doesn't make, it doesn't really add up. No, it doesn't. It Got doesn't. Two and a half months, he's bought clothes and saved up $200. But if you're selling 75 to 100 a week, you should have made that in like two and a half weeks. Yeah, Carl's not good with math, is he? Oh, two and a half months, two and a half weeks. Maybe there's like a printer error there. Yeah. Or maybe... Or maybe he spent this. some of that and bought himself an airplane. Who knows? <laughs> yeah you could exactly <laughs> carl if you're out there let us know how the airplane is please but no it didn't add up to me you send away for the free book or trial or whatever i'm assuming you may have to pay some kind of fee or something to the person to get the second book yeah. or the new product or whatever but i also at the same time with the amount of stuff they listed off i'm sure you could use that first book for a while yeah. you know what i mean yeah. at, at least until I guess you got to eventually find out if they sold out of something or not. So I got to ask, when you were 11, do you ever do the door-to-door -door sale thing? No, I did do comic – or not comic. I did do magazine subscriptions mm -hmm. for school, and I did do uh, World's Finest Chocolate, you know, Ooh. the candy bar thing. Yes, yes. I did that for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, but really, you're not – back then – well, I don't think it really happens that much. I don't know. You may be able to tell me otherwise. But a lot of the time, we had to do those things for school to pay for field trips and stuff. You know, like if we wanted to pay for our spot yes. on a field trip or whatever, they would give us these things and we'd have to raise the money ourselves. Yes. And like you said, we would have to go door to door or tell mom to bring it to work and get her friends to sign up or something, you know. And um, yeah. yeah, so I did, I some, did that. I did something similar. Uh, YMCA summer camp. I would go door to door selling, you know, one year it might be chocolates, the next year it might be some kind of candy or it was something, right. you know, every year I'd be selling stuff. So I'll go door to door and say, hey, I'm working my way through the YMCA summer camp program. Would you like to buy such and such for, you know, and you sell so much, you get a, a portion of that to help pay for your camp for the summer. Right. Um, I took it a step further. I would request uh, donations to help me buy comics. <laughs> yeah. You red skull at his finest right oh, there. Oh, it gets worse than that. And oh, then okay, I does. got the smart idea. Hey, I have extra pocket change. I could go down to the store and buy raffle tickets. And now I can go door to door 
<laughs> so would you fast. like to buy a raffle ticket? It is for this program, blah, blah, blah. It's only 50 cents. It will help me. <laughs> I would have a sock full of change. That's cool. That's cool. Go down to the arcade afterwards with no, it, right? No, actually, a lot, I'll be honest, a lot of that went into buying Star Wars trading cards back in, uh, you know, when, I th- uh, was it 78, 1980, when they, the trading cards were coming out? I think it was 1980, because the movie came out in, what, 78? I think the first movie? The first movie was 77. Seven. 77. Yeah, so oh. it could have been 77, 78. Like I said, I was going door to door getting a bunch of quarters to buy little packs of trading cards and and then i would take the trading cards and i would take them to school and i would sell them for 10 cents a piece your duplicates and whatnot uh, sometimes not even the duplicates oh, I, was, gotcha. I was one of those kids you know hell bent on making earning money and i would actually take the money i make and buy gi joe gi okay that's cool yeah. i'm sure you never had the giant gi joe carrier or anything though did i did you? not i wanted it but you know i had the sky strikers and all that cool stuff but anyway yeah. that's besides the point yeah i think as kids we've all tried to sell something um carl here it sounds like he uh did okay yeah he did all right all right well i guess that is gonna wrap up our episode of pulling ads and now be sure to come back because there is gonna be more oh, yeah. there's gonna be a lot more And we're going to try and bring this back for you guys. So make sure to give us a subscribe on YouTube and ring the little bell because, you know, you can get the alerts right when they happen. So if you are diehard four guys, give us the little thing, the ring the bell, and let us know that you love us in the comments. Or if you have some comics you want to see on the show, feel free to comment and let us know as well. Or, you know, just anything at all. Just say hey. You know, we'll, we'll say hi. Don't be shy. Yeah. We say hi back. Don't worry. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) All right, guys. So this has been Rusty Surfer and Red Skull from Four Guys on a Comic. We will catch you next time on Pulling Ads.